I mean, we talked with you the other day, but um, how do you feel like that dynamic is continuing to develop between you guys as a group today? I feel like every day we just go stronger and stronger. And uh, that's just about it. What, what do you need to do to get to the point that you want to be at when it actually comes time to play some games? I feel like I'm reaching my like my point where I want to be at. I just got to keep grinding, keep working, keep getting in there with Coach Joe. Just keep making plays when I can. Is the physical side of it one of the bigger emphasis for you right now? Nah, not really. I know I can go make a block. I know I can go, yeah, basically block. I'm not worried about that. Any specific things you're working on from spring practice to fall camp? Uh, I'm not really working on anything. I'm just going about like trying to like be a better me. There's a lot of talks around this wide receiver group kind of being unknown. Is that something that's tossing kind of around the wide receiver group? What do you mean unknown? Like unknown in terms of a lot of other, like there's super seniors in the secondary and it's just kind of a young group in the wide receiver room. What about us being young? I feel like nothing wrong about us being young. I feel like that's actually a good thing. Unknown, I just feel like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Unknown is just like, I don't understand unknown. Like, Andre was just saying that, you know, you look at some of like the list of the top receivers and top receivers and whatnot, you guys aren't there largely. Do you take that personally and use that as motivation? I don't even look at none of that. I worry about what's in the group. I worry about what's in the team. I worry about what's in the family. I'm not worried about no outside social media. I mean, can you kind of, the secondary is known as one of the, the better in the Pac-12, more experience. What's it like working against those guys and what benefit do you take from that? And like I said last time, I, I enjoy going against Jack, Chase, uh, Jay Clark, and all of them, Evan. I feel like it just gets me better. I'm like, every time I line up against them, I go, I act like it's a game. I act like it's a game anyway, but I take it to like the next, next level. I try to like, try new stuff on them, and I ask them if it worked, if it didn't work, and they tell me how to make it even better, because they seen more than one thing. What's the biggest difference you've noticed in Jaden from last year to this year? I believe I answered that last time. I feel like he just feel like, he's like taking more comfortable, like more relaxed, more smooth. I like go back. Have you seen his new car? Yeah, I see his new car. What's it? What's it look like? It's like a black Mustang. <laughs> How nice is it? It's really nice. <laughs> what in the locker room? Just his nil opportunities. How? What kind of conversation? What kind of discussions has that generated? About the car? No, no, just about the opportunities in a new age of college sports. We don't be talking about none of that. But we just we in the locker room. Football goes away. Meetings goes away. We talk about our lives. We talk about. Fun, you know. In the locker room, it's just fun. Like we don't, we leave all that stress outside and elsewhere. When we come in the locker room, it's just straight bonding. We don't worry about nothing. Obi, do you think that uh, your ability to adjust to what defenses are showing you guys will be improved this year versus last year, given just all your fluency on the offense, Jaden, not understanding and everything? What do you mean, not understanding? Um. Yeah, will you guys be able to signal adjust, make portable, see things from the defense, and be able to kind of know what they're doing at a higher level even now than this than last year? I feel like we did that last year. It just this year, I feel like we're just going to perfect it. Okay. Anything else? And well, in what, in what ways do you think that you guys might even be better than last year? A lot of ways. We're going to be stronger, faster, more mature. Knowledge is going to be there, smart. We're going to know everything, we're going to know where we got to be, we're going to know all of that. Do you think that you'll play um, outside a lot? It depends on who goes down. How has Bobby Wade helped you guys in that process you were talking about with making those improvements across the board? Bobby Wade is a great coach. He's, he's played in the league for very for very long years. And he's, he's really helped for me at punt return and all that. And like, but like me and Bobby, like we see eye to eye. So when I mess up, I like tell him, he's like, yeah, I know. So basically we just like talk to each other like he's my teammate. Do you, uh, you, and, you and Ricky, what's your kind of banter like? Um, Our what? Your banter, like you guys, just how you guys get along and. Uh, that's my guy, that's like my main man right there. We, it's like we battle because we're trying to start and that's what's just gonna make us better. Like I don't see I don't see me or Ricky as a one or a two. I see us like as a as a one, because like I told him, I'm like if I'm down, I have no problem about you taking the field. And if you, God forbid you're down, you should have no problem with me taking the field. We're like the same player but different types of players. How good do you feel about that depth just in the room as a whole, and how's that gonna help you guys this year? The depth. I feel like we're at a good depth right now. God forbid somebody goes down. 
somebody else can just step up. And then, and then Coach P and then Coach Bobby, they was teaching us how to learn every position. For example, against Oregon State last year, I had to play Z because COVID, blah, blah, blah. And then I had to learn the whole playbook. So being an early head start about that, so if that does happen, it's going to be nothing. Oh, LV, oh, Ricky, oh, GP. Just one snap away. You talk about people like players needing to be interchangeable. Does that change anything in your game since you've come to ASU? It doesn't change anything. A receiver is a receiver. You just got to know the knowledge of the game. You got to know what spots to hit, what hole to hit, how to catch the ball, know when to run that round, when to, when to know you're the decoy. Just, you just got to know the, the concepts. Is there anybody in the room who really stands out to you in that respect, who really has that knowledge at a high level? I don't want to be rude or anything, but I feel like I'm like, I'm that, that, I'm that guy. Wait, what kind of goals do you have for this year? How do you like set expectations? See, I don't really like look forward to the future. I'm worried about right now. I'm worried about getting through camp. I'm worried about just going day by day for me, getting better each day, getting stronger, faster. And then once the season comes, you'll see. Joe Connolly signaled you out as one of the guys that he thought got a lot stronger room in the last season. I feel like me getting hurt was a big like big uh, problem in that so like all upper body was just was strong in that. So I feel like Coach Joe's been getting me right and getting me strong in everything. <laughs>